A lot, really, insofar as we, what, 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 we, what we're able to do, we, we, we fund others. And so we encourage others to come to us with their, um, with their ideas and with their applications. And we really encourage innovation, different ways of thinking. So we have a whole range of projects now. And once again, I think that, that it is at the moment a bit like a glorious experiment as we sort of experiment with all these different methods and modes. So there's a, a, a lovely website and uh, interaction called I'm a Scientist, Get Me Out of Here. And this has been set up. And it's, it's a place where school children can ask questions of scientists, any question they like. Um, scientists are handpicked. It's also done in a safe environment. So, you know, teachers and school kids know who, you know, that, 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 that this, is, this is a safe place on the internet to be. And they can ask quite profound que scientific questions or very simple questions. One of the questions that I remember is, why are people annoying? Which is, you know, obviously a slightly mad question, but an important question nonetheless. And what's, what's really interesting about this space is that actually the young people vote off the scientists one by one in the context of their answers. So it gives the young people the slight upper hand and the scientists have to work hard to communicate really well to the young people. And then finally there's one scientist less, left who gets a little prize for, of money to do something in their lab or whatever. So it's sort of turning the tables. So there are lots of examples like that and there are, there are games and there are bloggers and things like that. And so we can, we can fund others to do these experiments to see how can we use the internet um, how can we use social media? How can we use communication tools to improve, if you like, communication, engagement between scientists and the wider public? You need to go to the places where the people are. So a lovely example this year um, was uh, taking science into Glastonbury. Big, big festival, lots and lots of young people out there to have a good time. Um, and... Uh, we went, there's a group called Guerrilla Science, and we worked with, Welcome Trust, we worked with Guerrilla Science, and we had a big uh, exhibition and season on dirt. So Guerrilla Science went in and actually did an installation within the Glastonbury Festival for people to go into and then talk to scientists about cleansing their mind in this particular instance, which was obviously, you know, quite an interesting context in the, in the context of uh, Glastonbury more widely. So one of the things that we've learned is that you can't expect people always to come to you. And, and I think what, what we're seeing more is these groups, often of young scientists, who are very willing to experiment and actually to go out and go to the places where people are um, and surprise them. So put, put science in unexpected places.